Hello everyone, today we're going to be checking out this new Qi magnetic clock. Now this is Qi's first clock, we finally have a clock from them, and it is the second mass-produced magnetic clock. This is my first clock ever and I'm excited to get into it, so let's check it out. Alright, so it looks like the top opens, bam, Ooh, there it is, wow, okay, <laughs> oops. Looks like it comes with a stand in the box. It's just a piece of clear plastic, uh, but it's uh, it's uh, curved to match the bottom of the clock. And uh, the bottom of the clock doesn't have flat sides anywhere on any of the sides, so it would roll around if you were to just uh, set it down on one side. So I guess the stand would, would help with that. And then there's also a bunch of cards in the box. And then lastly, a pamphlet for the new clock. All right, so as you can see, it is black and white, which is uh, in contrast to most other clock designs, which are usually a shade of blue and darker blue. Um, but I, I really like the contrast of the, the black and the white, honestly. You also have these nice red accents for the uh, the 12 o'clock, uh, the solved state, I guess. They just look like two two red dashes, but I like the accent, it's, it's nice. And it, it stands out really well on the white side, not so much on the black side, it's a lot harder to see. Maybe it would have been nice if they used a brighter shade of red or something, uh, because it's definitely a lot easier to see on this white side. But I, I mean, I still like the effort. So either way, the pins are magnetic. They feel nice. They're kind of loud still, but uh, definitely not as loud as like a, a modded Lingao or something. Uh, I've played with those before and they're super, super loud and snappy. And I also don't have anything to compare this to. Uh, I think people were saying that the pins felt light. Um, well, they're definitely lighter than the magnetic Lingao I tried in the past, but I don't think they'll be a problem. And now the gears are also magnetic too. Wow. <laughs> oh gosh. Oh. It's a bit dry and stiff right out of the box, honestly. Oh, maybe it's because I was turning all the layers at once. So let's see. Yeah, if I'm turning only one dial at a time, it's pretty easy to turn. And then if I'm turning four, I can feel a bit more friction, and then six, a bit more, and all of them, the most friction. Uh, but it's it's really not bad even when you're turning all nine dials at the same time. So I have solved a clock before. Um, I, I knew how to solve one uh, a while ago, but obviously I don't actually own one. I've only ever used my friend's clocks. So I'm gonna try and scramble this up and see if I can remember how to solve it. I guess this looks pretty good. Everything is messed up on all the sides, so I guess I'll just uh, pick a side and see if I can remember how to do this. I know that we want to start with a cross, and it looks like on the black side I have two cross pieces already solved. So let's see, um, uh, let's see, I want to match it with these, oops, um, let's, let's do this. Okay, we got the black cross, and then we'll get the white one, let's see. Uh, match with all those and cross did I mess up anything nope I still have it all and then we would put this oops we put this down and then this and uh, this one this one and I went the wrong way and then back to the top here bam all nine facing up on both sides Ha, huh, still got it. <sighs> this is fun, honestly. Um, I, I, I've always really liked the clock as a puzzle, except uh, I always felt that it was a bit awkward to be in the WCA because it's hard to be a spectator puzzle because it's hard to see, you know, everything is vertical and it, you know, it looks like this when people are solving, you know? It's hard to see what people are doing because there aren't flashy colors. <laughs> it's, it's not that fun to watch, honestly. Oh, I totally screwed something up there. Okay, that's better. I mean, I still appreciate it as a puzzle, and I, I do think it's really fun, and I'm so glad that she has branched out and finally made a clock, because it's actually a pretty good product. Either way, I'm not gonna take it apart in this unboxing, because I have no idea how to put it back together, but they have added these four screws on the top face, on this white face here, and you can unscrew them and get into the internals and potentially lube the clock. I have no idea how to do that, but <laughs> if you're a clock enthusiast, you might find it very beneficial to be able to get into the inside of the clock very easily. I really enjoy having these magnetic uh, gears. They feel super nice. And honestly, they feel just as like regularly snappy as they did on like a, a Lingao. I guess the snap is a 
bit softer, but I mean, you can easily, you know, click them into place. The magnets aren't too weak. I think they're a very nice strength. So once again, if you're a clock enthusiast, I think this will definitely be the one to get. It's not very cheap. It's it's $32. And compared to the previous uh, Shangsha magnetic clock that just came out for only 10, it's definitely on the expensive side. But for the performance that you're getting out of this thing, honestly, I'd say it's worth it. Also, it might be important to keep in mind that the gears in this puzzle are fully magnetic, but not in the Shangsha, it's just the pins. So you might want to keep that in mind. Either way, that's gonna wrap up my thoughts on this new fully magnetic Qi Yi clock. It's, well, it's my main, it's the only one I have, and I do believe it is the best on the market. I'd like to give a huge thank you to the cubicle for sending me this puzzle to test out. If you'd like to buy it for yourself, I'll have a link in the description below so you can check it out on their store. Also, if you like saving money, you can use the discount code LCC at checkout to get 5% off all of your orders from thecubicle.com. So be sure to use that code. I hope you enjoyed my very slow clock solves, and I'll see you in the next video. Thanks for watching, guys. Bye.